Hey guys, it's Morgan, and today I'm going to be talking about how to convert traditional art into line art. Say you are more comfortable uh, doing traditional art for your comic rather than doing it straight onto the computer. Well, don't have no fear, you can still do this. This is what I did for my comic. So what I recommend doing is get a pretty, you don't have to get like a super thick paper, like Bristol paper. I got a huge sketch pad from Michaels. It's an artist loft brand and surprisingly, not only is it huge, it's also the paper is much thicker than a normal sketchbook paper. So that kind of took care of my problem. <laughs> so what you do is you just sketch all your pages and then you go over them and ink them. You can get, you can either do, you can do this with just a normal black pen. Now, most artists would be like, no, you need to get the most expensive um, inking materials ever. That is not true. But if you do want to have more variety in your pen thickness, I highly recommend going to your nearest Michaels or Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure if Hobby Lobby does this, but Michaels always has giant coupons, like giant coupons. Every time you walk in, something artist related is on sale. So highly recommend doing that. And get um, maybe just a standard pack of pit markers to do your outlines. So once you do that, all you have to do, you can do this with a regular camera or just your phone camera. Or if you don't have a phone, use your computer camera. Just find a way to take a picture of the page. Make sure it's pretty flat, you know, not on an incline or anything. And then email the picture to yourself. Or if you're using a Mac, you can even text your image to yourself. And then open up uh, Manga Studio or Clip Paint Studio, I think is how it's going by now. I'm not sure. Um, I always just call it Manga Studio because that's what it was when I got it. So then you open up that. And then you bring in, you make the new file for the comic page and stuff. And then you import the image. Now don't make it like a template or anything. Just, just go to File, Import, and then find the image. And then... All you have to do is go to, I believe, I'm not at my computer right now, so it is, I'm just going off of memory, uh, go to layer, and then click rasterize. Once you do that, then go to edit, and then tonal, it's a little panel right above transformation, and go to binarization, 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 correct me if I'm wrong. And I always see tutorials say to do 127, but honestly, just see how much, like how much you want to show. So yeah, just like mess with that bar for a little bit, and then you got it straight up black and white. Now you're thinking, how am I gonna color this? No problem. <laughs> go back to the layers panel, and then go down to convert layer. Now you're gonna get this little box that says, um, it gives you like the name of the layer and then it, there's a color mode. Go to that and click on it and click black and white. Your job isn't over yet. Then click the little black square. Don't click the white one or else it's only gonna show everything that's white. Click the black square and then click okay. Ta-da, you got yourself some line art. Now you can color your comic with no worries. It, this is something that revolutionized me, like, that was so revolutionary to me, and I'm really shocked that there isn't many tutorials out there for this. I have some big news. I completed issue one of one of my comics. <laughs> one of is the keyword. Um, it is the one, if you follow me on Instagram, it is the one about the little robot, Forzy. Um, and it's really exciting for me. I'm not sure when it'll be printed, or how I'm gonna distribute it, but it's just exciting. It's really, really exciting that like I'm starting this journey and I really wanna help others uh, start this journey as well. Because everyone has stories and you want to be able to share them. And so I hope that with my videos, I'll be able to help you guys. As always, you can, if you wanna keep up with me daily, uh, I highly recommend going to my Instagram, mhsketches. So yeah, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. I am going to be making videos much more frequently now since now I'm back in the sketching stage of issue two, which is a lot less strenuous 
on my schedule. Coloring and doing the finalization is the longest part of a comic. Even if you don't think so, it is like, whew, it's tedious. <laughs> and if you have a comic or that you're working on, on Tapastic or Webtoons or whatever, please let me know because I would love to check it out. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope I helped you out. Um, this has been MA Sketches. <laughs> See ya.